Given a binary tree, please design an algorithm to return the pre-order traversal of its node's values. How can you do this iteratively? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through Libra problem 144, binary tree pre-order traversal. This is the second time we visit this problem, but this time we'll go through this problem doing it iteratively. Last time we did this recursively, which is kind of trivial. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, given a binary tree, return the pre-order traversal of its node's values. For example, given this binary tree, 1, 2, 3, and the output is 1, 2, 3. Let's take a look at our slides. So first, a quick recap. What is pre-order traversal? Node, left, and right. This is the order that we should go through. Node first, and then left, left child, and then right child. Now we'll still use this binary tree as, as an example. If you guys pause this video right now, I'll put a link to the in-order traversal iterative solution. We can go through that route exactly, almost exactly the same code, identical almost, but we'll just change one line. We'll just move one line. With that, we can, this, that's number one solution. We can just quickly code that up. Uh, we can quickly code up the first solution, iterative solution, which is, let's see, Literally, we, we only need to move one line from the in-order iterative solution to make it a pre-order iterative solution. Let's see. Tree node stack while stack is not empty or root node is not now. So remember, this is exactly the same code paths so far. And then there's an in the while loop here while while root node is not equal to now. We we'll just keep going through keep going towards this left. What we'll do is we'll push it uh, instead of adding the adding the value of the current root node into the list outside of this in the while loop we'll just add it right here and then we'll add this one on top of the stack and then we'll keep going towards the towards the left until we come to the leaf of the left side and then we'll just pop it off of the call stack that means we have exhausted all of the left side. Then we'll just pop it off. Stack pop. And then what we'll do is we'll go through its right side. So the literally one line change or one line that we moved its position is this line. This line for the in-order iterative solution traversal that we used to put it here. It used to be here right so we go through we reach we try to get until the end of the the very the very leaf on the very left side until that moment we pop it out and then we add that is in order traversal because we we follow the order of left root and then right that is in order but for pre-order the root we always go first that's why we move this one that's why we move this line we're just always whenever for pre-order, we always put the root node on top of, we always insert the root node into the current list, the result list first, before we go to its left side, right? So this is the literal, literally one line move. And then this is one version of the iterative solution. Let's hit, hit submit and see. So it's also accepted. And this is one version. Um, another version that we can walk through is that well, we will also use stack instead of solving this problem using iterative solution this way. What we can do is that another, of course, there are multiple, many different versions. As long as you take advantage of the feature of a stack, which is FIFO, last first in, last out, and then you keep you keep in mind that for pre-order traversal of a binary tree, what the order that you should follow is root, left, and right. Root, left, and right. As long as you keep these two points in mind, you can come up with multiple different variations, but the idea is the same. So we'll go through the second version. 
a, a very commonly seen iterative solution, which is we'll just go through one node at a time. Then, then we'll put its right we'll put its right child on top of the stack and its left child on top of the stack. In that way, we can also traverse this binary tree in pre-order, in the pre-order fashion. Let's see. So we'll use a stack. First, we'll only give access to the root node. Then we put the root node on top of the stack. And then what we will do is that, so we'll enter this, we'll enter this while loop. We'll have a while loop to go through every single node. Then we'll just pull this one since there's only one node on the call stack on the stack right now. We'll just pull this one out of the stack. And then remember, this is pre-order. So it's node left and right. So we always insert the current value, the current node value into this list. So we'll put one into the list. And then we'll, what are we going to do? We'll handle its children, its direct children first. So remember the feature of the stack, this data structure is first in, last out. And for the, pre, for the order of the pre-order traversal, it's node left and right, left and right. So left should be kept at the top of the cost stack, right? Which means it should be put on top of the cost stack only after its right child has been put on top of the stack already. So that is the order. So what we are going to do right now is that we'll check this node's right child, put this one on top of the call stack, right? We'll put this one on top of the stack and then put its left child, which is this one on this stack. So we'll just keep doing this until we have gone through every single node and our call stack is empty. So this is what our stack data structure looks like right now. So we have visited both its left and right child of, of this root node. So what are we going to do now? We'll pop this one off of the cost, off of the stack. So two, two is here. Remember again, pre-order traversal, note left to right. So we'll add two into this result. So two is here. Then we'll check this values right first and then left second. Okay, right is now. Oh, this is just the way that I put it. I, I don't throw a now check here. So I'll just add whatever it, it shows up. I'm, on top of my stack. Of course, you can add a now check here so that you don't need to add now here, but I'm, I'm just, either way you need to do a now check. So I'm just adding now on top of the stack as well. So now is its right child and its left child is four. So we'll add four here. Then this nodes right and left children are both have been visited. Now, what are we going to do next? We're going to pop this one off of the call stack which is four, four is here. We'll add four here. Four is added into the result list. And then we'll visit this nodes right and left, right? Right and left children. So right is six. So six is added and left is now. So we'll add now here. And then what are we going to do? We're going to visit this one now. Now is just, a, we'll just pop this one off and it doesn't have any left or right children. So we'll just ignore that. We'll just, we finished that. And then for six, We'll add six, we pop six off of the call stack, and then six, we add it into the result list. And then we'll check six is right and left. Right and left are both now. Right and left are both now. Then we'll just add these two nows on top of the stack. And then we'll pop this one off. Now is gone, and then that, this one, nothing to do. And we'll pop this one off. This one is also now nothing to do. And then we'll pop this one off. Still now, nothing to do. And now what we're left with is three. Three is here. We'll pop three off of the stack. It's three, again, we'll add three into the result list. Why? Because it's pre-order traversal. Node, left, and right. So we'll add, add three into the result list. We'll check three is right, which is now, right? And then left is five. Okay, so this is three's right and left. Right is now, left is five, okay. Now we'll pop five off of the stack. Five, then we add five into the result list. And then we'll visit fives right and left. Okay, right and left, right and left. Both of them are now. Okay, then we'll pop everything. We'll, we'll continue to pop things off of the stack one at a time. Still go by pre-order traversal order, which is root, left, and right. So now nothing to do. Now nothing to do. Now nothing to do. All right, this is the end of this entire algorithm because we have finished visiting every single node and our stack data structure is empty. 
This is our final output, which is 1, 2, 4, 6, 3, 5. This is another version of the iterative solution. Now let's just quickly put this one into the actual code and take, we don't need to remove everything. What we'll do is that we'll just add this root node onto the stack and check stack is, does it autocomplete? It doesn't, never mind. As long as this stack is not empty, we'll just pop it off. Tree node current stack pop. We'll pop this one off of the stack. But remember, it could be empty. It could be now, right? Remember, we add, we'll just add now. We don't check whether it's left or right children is now or not. So what we'll do a now check here. Current if current not equals to now. What are we going to do? Remember, it's pre-order traversal, meaning we have to always insert the current node's value into the result list first, which we'll do here, current val. Then next, what are we going to do? Remember, the feature of a stack data structure is that first in, last out. So in order to follow the pre-order traversal, which is root left and right, left is before right. So we'll put right on top of the stack first. That is push current right. We'll push the right side on top of the stack first because then it will be pulled after left side has been processed, right? And then we put right, or we put its left side on top of the stack, which means next time, next time around, when we pull things on top of the stack, we'll get the left side of this root node first. And then only after that, we'll process the right side of this root node. That's it. This is the null version. Let's hit submit and see. All right, this is also accepted. Um, both of these two algorithms, time complexity and space complexity, are both O N. I hope this video makes sense to help people better understand the pre-order traversal iterative version. If it does, just do me a favor and hit that like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so that each time I, when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. Right now, we're going through a tree series of problems. Then later on, we'll go through dynamic programming. And then we'll go through different combinations of data structures to help people better prepare for their upcoming coding interviews. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.